Hey, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me here at the Big Ranch Show. I want to do a quick little video about the George Floyd situation, the way Donald Trump has reacted to the protest and the unfortunate rioting that has taken place. Now, we all know what happened to George Floyd. I talked about it in a video over on Patreon. Check out the uh, Patreon page and you will see that video. But the thing is, Donald Trump seems to have it all wrong. He wants to unleash U.S. military forces on American civilians who are protesting. And some people are like, no, no, he just wants to do it to the, the looters and the rioters. No, those are not the words he used. Those are not the words said by one Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump stated he wanted to use them against protesters. He wants to quash the protests. In fact, he sent out a tweet telling governors to dominate the protesters. Didn't say rioters, didn't say looters, he said protesters. What gets me though is having people don't understand the situation. You know, I can't fully understand it. I don't live it every day. But I can listen to those of you that do. I can listen to those minorities and those individuals that deal with it. In this country, we treat black Americans like second-rate citizens, like they don't freaking matter. And you can sit there and tell me up and down that they don't. Live in East Texas for a while, and you'll see how they get treated. I have seen videos of the exact situations I have found myself in where the black person gets shot or maimed or beat. But nothing happens to me. Yes, I'm in a wheelchair. But I've been stopped by police and I get very upset and nervous when I when police stop me. Because I don't know what half time I don't know what I've done wrong. But all the, the, the times that I have been stopped, I have not had a cop approach me with a gun drawn. I have not had a cop stick his gun in the in the car screaming, get your hands up, get out of the car. And at the end of the day, all I can do is listen and learn from the people that deal with this every day. The fact is, black lives matter. George Floyd's life mattered. And you can say what you want. You can disagree with me if you want. But it's the, it's the fact. The fact is, his life mattered just the same as anyone else's. I don't care what the man did or didn't do. I don't care what his family situation was. I, I don't give a shit about any of it. I don't care. Police are not the judge, jury, and executioner. They are not allowed to be. Our Constitution forbids it. That's why we have a justice system. That's what due process is about. You hear all these right-wingers screaming about due process, due process. Where was George Floyd's due process? I don't care even the situation surrounding. When those other officers saw what the main officer was doing, the one that was charged originally, they should have stopped him. They already had the man subdued, already had him in cuffs. And what are you doing? That's right. You're attacking him. You're brutalizing him. You're putting your knee on his fucking neck. And no, I, I don't care if these officers have families and lives and they're worried about getting home. George Floyd was on the ground. George Floyd was killed by that officer. I don't care how you look at it. I don't care if you can come up with all sorts of technical stuff saying, oh, well, maybe he died before the, the, the knee went on the neck. Well, guess what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it was the knee in the back, the knee in the neck. The man suffocated to death. At least according to the second autopsy. I do not trust the medical examiners. Well, most of the medical examiners are so tied to the freaking police departments anyway that it's their job to defend the cop in the first place. 
And I don't believe the family would have reason to really lie about how their loved one died. But I will say this, as mad as I am about this stuff, and as sad as I, I am that I was not able to partake in the protest that took place here in Norman the other day, due to the fact that I am in, not in a health situation where I can be around a mass of people, due to the COVID situation, I, I'm still, I still fully support the back Black Lives Matter movement. I've had my issues with different people, but now I've realized that the agitators and stuff are coming from the outside. The agitators are not coming from inside the protest. The agitators, the rioters, the looters that all of these people are so freaking concerned about are not generally people that actually care that a man is dead. That's a fact. You have groups from all, all sides getting involved anarchist, no matter left or right, no matter where they fit on the spectrum. They're still there. They're still showing up to these events, and they're the ones causing the problem. You don't have to buy, believe me. Just look at just look at it. Just the other day, I saw a photograph that, that floated across social media. Now, I don't know if it was 100% new, but it was of looters. One of them in a very red, very distinguished you know, distinguishing looking hat very much looked like a MAGA hat and he was looting a store. So you can't really tell me that it's only, you know, people on the left doing this, like Donald Trump is trying to tell you. But the fact is Donald Trump is going about this all wrong. Right now, Donald Trump should be being a leader. He should be being a leader, but he is not being a leader. It's pathetic. It's pathetic how Donald Trump is handling this. He's treating it as if he's a tyrant, as if he's a dictator, as if he is the king of America. And that fucker is not king of America. So if you can, get out there to these protests. Be peaceful. The one thing I ask is peace. Be peaceful. Nothing good ever came of violence. Just take a look at what happened after George Floyd died. It gave the agitators, the anarchists, the nuts, the option, the fuel to go out there and destroy stuff. Destroy the livelihoods of many Americans, many of them African American businesses. But guys, thanks for watching. You know, like I said, if you can get out to one of these protests, do. Um, if my language in the video offended you, I'm sorry. But as I see it, the language is no more offensive than what they did to George Floyd. Thank you for watching.